So uh, today we have the OpenCut Refer in uh, Earn plugin and uh, because uh, as we know that the Refer programs uh, uh, basically encourage the users uh, to invite other uh, what we say as the people to sign up and earn the reward points in exchange and uh, as it is also one of the uh, means to increase the user traffic into your store because it allows more and more number of people to come and register within your website for earning reward points so uh, the, basically the admin can uh, set up this uh, reward point system and uh, right now as you can see I'm at the uh, storefront and uh, the admin can set up uh, the option uh, for the new customers that whenever they uh, sign up uh, an amount of uh, uh, earnings would be given to them I'll show you that in a little uh, point uh, within this video how we can uh, check that out so if you create a new account using your uh, social uh, and using the social logins uh, for uh, registering uh, within the open account web store the admin can give the points uh, to the users uh, who have used their social login for registering within the store so i'll show you that as well and uh, thereafter we'll just check how the admin can set up the uh, same and how the admin can uh, make uh, the configurations in the back end so as to allow the customers uh, to make use of the social networks like uh, facebook linkedin uh, and the others to log in and register within your open card web store and get rewards for the same so uh, we need to set that up we'll be showing you how we can get those uh, credentials as well in uh, the later of this particular video i have the user guide attached within the uh, description section below and uh, you can go through that for more details now uh, let's go to the workflow at the storefront and then we'll see the rest of the details as well and uh, before proceeding further please do uh, subscribe to our channel and uh, please uh, tap on the bell icon so that you can get the latest updates uh, within the e-commerce open, open source uh, sector to get the updates on the latest plugin features that we have provided for the multiple uh, uh, e-commerce platforms uh, there and do give it a thumbs up if you like this particular video so that we can create much more videos like that in the uh, uh, in the in the coming times as well so basically the customers uh, would uh, or the users would uh, find uh, this uh, referral panel on the store uh, where they'll find some info about the referral offer itself so here we have the referral earn within this particular box and the details are here uh, with an image as well we can tap here on, on this particular refer button to uh, refer and earn this thing as well and uh, the uh, users can also earn reward points through promoting people to sign up by sharing the uh, customer share links to the uh, referrals and through sharing a product share link with your friends you can also get reward points for that and uh, when other people purchase product uh, through a shared reference link you will be rewarded for that now uh, if I type here on the refer button let's see what happens so we need to uh, basically log in so as to refer and earn for this thing and before showing you the uh, process there further uh, I just uh, wanted to show you that for example if a customer is on the home page or anywhere else at the top he'll be able to see this refer and earn thing and if he taps on that he'll be able to check the refer and earn uh, system there and from there he'll be able to uh, check the same so if I tap here on the refer will be asked to log in if I'm already a customer I can log in and proceed further otherwise uh, I need to register myself first and thereafter only I'll be able uh, to make use of the same so uh, so uh, now let me tap here in the uh, login uh, button for the Facebook there's some inter con internet connectivity issues maybe uh, because uh, initially only LinkedIn popped up and uh, not the uh, Facebook and the others now only the LinkedIn Facebook is there, is there and not the Google Plus and the others so we'll just check that out as well so uh, for now if I tap here on the uh, and uh, after the login uh, if I navigate to my account and go to my reward points I'll be able to check the reward points that have been added uh, after I've uh, signed up using my uh, uh, social account be it Facebook Twitter or uh, be it LinkedIn or the Google so it depends upon your account uh, the social account that you use and according to that the reward points would be added to your account and you can check them under the reward points so that's uh, basically the uh, basic flow whenever uh, from the uh, storefront uh, we are trying to log in, or we are trying to register as a new uh, customer uh, on the store so as to make use of the refer and earn so if we are uh, logging in using the LinkedIn Facebook Twitter or the Google 
then uh, right now I've not uh, entered the two credentials for the uh, Twitter and the Google so those are not uh, uh, being displayed here otherwise uh, if they were uh, having the credentials there uh, then the login page uh, or the sign up page would be something like this like uh, Facebook uh, LinkedIn Google Plus and uh, sorry Facebook Twitter Google Plus and LinkedIn then it would be something like this so let's go so right now I'm at the uh, storefront and here we are on the login page right now as you can see so I've shown you how we can log create a new account using the uh, social networks uh, now what uh, if uh, I uh, directly log into my account without any uh, social networks so let's see that as well so let me tap here on the login button for that and after login on the right hand side for the customer account you can see that we have the uh, section that's the uh, reward points if I click on that uh, we'll be able to see the complete list of reward points that this particular customer has received so here you can see that I don't have any of the uh, social network uh, registration rewards right now because I've directly just uh, created a new account uh, as default within the open card store itself and from here you can see that uh, for referring and earning registration I've earned points and uh, for refer and earn and for refer and earn registration and the other details are here for the reward points that I've received and the total number of points is uh, 350 uh, as you can see right now so let me tap here in the continue now as I've already told you we can tap here in the refer and earn link to check the refer and earn uh, section so I'll just tap that up that would bring up the uh, refer and earn section as you can see and from here the customer can share the uh, product link and can also share the customer uh, share link and here you can see that we have the details of the uh, uh, earn and reward itself the image along with the text for the uh, referral and uh, from here we can uh, the customer can tap uh, here and can choose a product for example if I choose a big modern necklace for example and then tap here on the continue button then I'll be able to uh, refer this particular product link so if I just copy this one up and let me open it in another window for you so uh, it would uh, display the big modern necklace as you can see but uh, as I've already logged into my own account so that's why uh, you can see that uh, uh, you've already purchased this product through reference so basically somebody else gave me the link of this product and I purchased it so uh, the person who gave me this link I just received the uh, earn, uh, earn the rewards uh, for this particular one so similarly that was a product share uh, link and we can also share the uh, customer share link uh, to the customers by copying and pasting them up and similarly you can select any of the products and you can uh, refer that product to uh, any of the customers there so if I tap here on the uh, continue button thereafter I'll generate this particular link uh, that can be shared uh, for the product as well as for to the customers and if I just uh, open this link now we can see this is the black and white uh, straw hat so here's the same and uh, the previous one was uh, the link that I had uh, purchased uh, or using uh, the link from any uh, from another uh, person there but right now you can see that you're purchasing the product to self-reference reward and would not be added into your account so if I uh, provide this particular link to a uh, to another uh, person and if he purchases that per product then I'll be earning the reward and but not uh, to myself uh, if I'm just going to purchase this product for my own self so that's how we can create and uh, refer and earn the products uh, from the open account store to the customers by sharing the product share link and the customer share link as well and uh, so in short whenever any other person pr purchases a product using your share link you will get the rewards in your account now let's go to the admin backend panel let's see what different uh, initial configuration settings are there for this particular plugin itself so I'll be logging into the admin backend panel for my open cart web store and after login uh, for the initial configuration we'll navigate to extensions and then extensions and here we'll be choosing modules and here we'll just navigate to our product itself so uh, here we have the reference on I'll just tap here on the edit button under the actions column 
and here you can see that we have on the referent own initial configuration settings and here we have the editor wherein we have one image we have set up some uh, text there so uh, uh, here we can describe how to own the reward points and uh, this will be shown at the storefront and we can set up a maximum of 150 words for being displayed to the customers on the storefront uh, and apart from that we can set up the title that will be shown to the customers uh, so if you remember this was the referent on heading and here's the referent on heading that you uh, remember at the storefront basically and uh, if we go back now we can set up uh, the reward points which will be given to the users after registration so you can set the amount of uh, reward points uh, to be given to the customers you can set up the text for the links and uh, here you'll be able to enter the uh, button text that would be uh, used for redirection to the registration page so here we have set it as refer and if we go back and if I just log out of my account here and uh, here now you can see here's the heading there and here's the uh, redirection button that's the refer if I tap will be redirected to the uh, login page once again and uh, so that's the text for the link we can set the status as enabled or disabled so uh, if you enable this option here then you'll be able to give the reward points or uh, otherwise you can disable it if you don't want to give the reward points to the customers then you have the referral status so if you enable this option uh, then uh, you'll be able to give the reward points to your referral users otherwise choose disable to not uh, give the same you can set up the referral reward points that would be added you can set up the reference validity so uh, the reference link that would be provided to the users will be uh, working only for the set number of days that you've entered here similarly you can enable or disable the all social logins so uh, basically you can check our user guide for more details about the credentials for the facebook uh, sign up uh, for the uh, twitter sign up for the google sign up and for the linkedin sign up and here you can see that it's uh, disabled that's why it was not showing up on the uh, storefront so if i just enable them up so i've just saved that setting here for the uh, different uh, social logins and uh, here you can see that now i've enabled each of them and you can set up uh, the different uh, client id secret id the reward points for the respective uh, social sign up uh, sign ups for twitter you can set up your reward points set up the consumer secret similarly the app id the secret key and the reward points for the facebook you can check our user guide let me show you that so within the user guide you will be able to set up your facebook login the different details for the same and you'll be able to get your credentials like the app id app secret and the app domain similarly for the twitter uh, you'll be able to uh, set up the same and uh, you'll be able to get your consumer consumer secret similarly for the google plus you'll have your uh, what we say as the details like the client id and the rest of the details there and the same goes for the linkedin as well and lastly after entering all of the details there you can just tap here on the save button and uh, you're done setting up your referent on uh, functionality for your open card platform based web stores so uh, that was much about the open card referent on uh, plugin i hope it helped you out in understanding the flow of this particular plugin and if you uh, still have any queries questions uh, or doubts or requirements then kindly get back to us at support on the of webcool.com or you can also create a ticket at webcooler.qvidus.com. Please do give it a thumbs up uh, if you like this particular video so that we uh, do get uh, uh, like uh, we feel good for creating more videos like such. And uh, thanks a lot for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.